Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a pass-through charging test for the EcoFlow River 2 power station. Um, I did not do a pass-through charging test in the full review for this power station, so I just thought why not make a short separate video uh, for the pass-through charging test. Um, and so yeah, I mean for the pass-through charging, I currently have the River 2 power station recharging through the AC input over the back using the included AC charging cable. And so I've got a 590 watt input going on. The normal uh, AC input speed for this power station is uh, 360 watts when you're not using the power station. But when you when you have pass-through charging going on, which means that you're recharging and using the power station at the same time, the input um, does go up to 590 watts, which is pretty cool for a small unit like this. That's a lot of imp that's a lot of input power going on right there. Um, because I have this uh, crock pot being powered at high, currently outputting 245 watts. So the and so what's happening is that the power station is accepting uh, more wattage input, so it can actually recharge rather than you know lose power and like take a long time to recharge. It's just trying as hard as it can to get back to its uh, full capacity. And so yeah, I mean I just wanted to show that real quick. You know, 590 watts of input power for a mini power station like this. Like I can't. I mean I can't stress enough how small this power station is. And, and to input 590 watts while you're um, using it is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys that because I forgot to show it in the full review for the unit. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. All right, goodbye.